we're Talking Pop Shop. My guest today is Julie Bonanno of The Mixing Bowl, and we're so thrilled to have her as part of Pop Shop. Thank you so much for coming to talk with us today, Julie. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us a little bit about who you are and a little bit about The Mixing Bowl and how it got started. Sure, yeah. Um, so I love telling this story because it all starts off with my sisters, who I'm so close with, um, and drinks. <laughs> so um, we were chatting one night um, and we were like, let's quit our let's quit our day jobs and let's think of something to do. Um, and at this time, cupcakes were really popular. So we were like, let's open up a cake, cupcake shop. And um, my sisters are older and they have children. And I'm the one that kind of just was like, okay, yeah, let's just do this. So I started watching Food Network going on YouTube, looking up how to make those crazy cupcakes, um, the different flavors, um, and really just started from there. Um, I would start doing events for my family and then friends of family. Um, and then it wasn't until a couple of years ago um, that I actually went through a bad breakup and I kind of was just like bummed out and I was trying to redirect that energy and I was like, let me start baking again. So I, I busted out my mixing bowl, um, my KitchenAid and I got to work. I started going from door to door and coming up with these creations, having people taste test um, new and crazy ideas that I had. Um, and then it kind of just went from there. I started posting stories on my Instagram account, um, did a little rebranding on that. And then people started telling their friends about me. And over the past two years, I've grown so much um, from, you know, giving out free, free treats to, you know, people ordering wedding cakes from me. So it's been a whirlwind past couple of years. And I honestly, it was, it was a lot of a lot of long nights um, and very tired, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Well, I, I mean, I think that your passion for what you're doing is super evident. Your Instagram pages, I mean, that's how I sort of got to know you in the first place. And just the brightness and the, the visual crispness of literally being able to see like every layer. I mean, it's beautifully shot as a photographer. Yeah. I'm jealous about it. Um, but it, it's really, I mean, that the, the confections just sort of jump off the page really and and my mouth has been watering ever since I've been watching it so where do you come up with the inspirations I know you have some really kind of unique interpretations of desserts so where do you come up with your inspiration and ideas for it yeah so I I love classic confections and treats um cookies cakes cupcakes and I also do research on what's trendy um, and different and new popular flavors. So it kind of comes from a lot of different places. So I do researches on, um, you know, popular New York bakeries. I go on Pinterest and I look up different recipes. I break them down. I pull out different ingredients um, from those recipes. And then I kind of take, I love taking the classics and putting my own twist on that. And that's kind of how I've, um, come along with the the mixing bowl and so is this something you know i know you're self-taught which is i think now doesn't really have the stigma in terms of you know the arts and culinary arts and and you know painting and yeah. film and thing, and that it used to and so but where i mean how did you fall in love with baking you know was it someone in your family that inspired you or just your own taste buds you know we've always baked as a family during the holidays. And that's something that I, I loved. And one of my favorite things about baking is that how good it makes people feel and how important these, you know, it, a cake's a cake, but like when you know the story behind it, or you're giving to someone for a special celebration, it just, it just changes um, drastically and what the meaning behind it is. And I think for me, um, cooking with, for baking with my mother and my sisters is one of the things that I've absolutely loved and how much, I don't know, it's just like, there's a lot of like love that we put into it and then sharing it with the people um, that we care about. And um, it's funny that you asked that because I recently was just home and I'm looking through a photo album from 
back in the day and I opened up and there's this like Elmo cake that my mom had made for my sister when she was younger. I'm like, well, that's where I got it from. It was insane. I'm like, you never told me about this. So it definitely from my mom um, and then kind of has evolved um, baking with my uh, family over the years. I love that. I love that. And that's, I think that's, you know, a true artist. I think that's, they draw inspiration from real life and then put their own twist on it, which you certainly have. And what's your favorite thing to make? So my favorite thing to make is um, there are these stuffed cookies that I'm sure you've seen that they're starting to be popular. But the funny thing is I didn't even know they existed when I thought of this in my kitchen. Um, I, I love to just play around things, around with things. So I had, I think I just had like a bag of Oreos out because I love to dip Oreos into peanut butter as a snack because they taste like Girl Scout cookies. Um, and I had done that one day and I was making cookies and I was like, why don't I just put that inside the cookie and just see what happens? Um, it's another reason why I like love to bake the science behind it. Um, and so I did, and then I put the rainbow sprinkles on it and, you know, it, it took me a while to perfect probably like over a year to actually perfect it. And I now call them stuffies um, and have a variety of flavors. Well, let me tell you, we're, we're posting, I, I, while we're talking about that, I'm going to put pictures of them on there. I literally, first of all, I just think it was so innovative and creative. And it was like, I mean, they just look decadent and delicious. And everyone I've been telling, oh, guess what? We have the mixing bowl. They're going to be a pop shop. And I'm like, do they make these things called, does she make these things called stuffies? Oh, and I'm describing them and I haven't even tasted them in real life yet, but I'm telling everyone I've described them to, they're just like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. I'm like, I know, I know. It really is just, oh, so very excited for that. And everyone who wants to try one, you will have some on hand they can try. Yes, I definitely will. There, are, I want everyone to try them. So they will definitely be with me. And so what made you decide to be a part of Pop Shop when we reach out to you about this? You know, it, being that the Pop Shop is this luxury um, shopping experience with art and um, fashion, it's something that's been a passion of mine. And you usually don't think of baking, or most people don't think as big of baking as art. But to me, I'm I'm a very artistic person. I used to take art lessons when I was younger, and to me, it's my uh, canvas to create. So I loved that this is a platform for artists and that baking is involved in that. Um, and another thing is that the, the focus for this pop-up shop is a lot of women and um, artists of color that are going to be involved. And that's something that's near and dear to my heart. And I've always believed in empowering women and supporting other women who have their own small business. So for me, it was a no brainer. That's, that's fabulous. And I will say, you can tell that you have sort of, you know, an artistic background just because everything, you do, it's so visual and you're right. I mean, they call it the culinary arts. Uh, I mean, you know, and the confectionery arts. So it really is. And we eat, don't they say that we first eat with our eyes before we even taste it? That's true. Yeah. So, and that's it. It's, it's you'll see, you know, people who are watching now at home, they'll be able to see some of these, you know, just the visual care and, and tact that you put into everything and it's really it's it's just it's fabulous i'm so excited to again to taste it to eat it that i'll be 500 pounds later i'll be it'll be great um and so and we're also doing sort of a combination of a digital so we're going digital so we have the physical pop-up shop and then we're going to be doing the live streams throughout the event so people who aren't able to come can still watch it online and you know call in to buy and so what do you what do you think of of the combination of the two I love that idea. When I first saw that, I was like, that is brilliant because especially during these times, some people are wanting to get back out there and, you know, see stuff in person and have those experiences. But on the other hand, some people just aren't ready and it allows the opportunity for everyone to get this experience um, as we merge back into um, the world of seeing the arts and still being able to participate um, either whether it's in person or from afar. Thank you. You're right. And it's, just, you know, and it's about being able to support, like you said, you know, women led businesses, which mine is, yours is, and, you know, and, and just entrepreneurs who we are, you know, just trying to figure out this new normal. 
and, and make things happen for ourselves. And, and I think, uh, I hope, we'll hope, everything will go off without a hitch, but we've got some great people on it. So we're really thrilled. And just in the meantime, where can people find out more about you if they want to get in touch with you via your website, your social media? Yes, yeah, so um, you can contact me on my website, www.themixingbowlbyjewels.com, or you can um, go on Instagram, and my handle is themixingbowlbyjewels. So perfect. And you can also come to Pop Shop November 11th and 12th and meet Julie in person and be able to purchase all of these delicious things that we've talked about. So, but you have to wait November 11th and 12th. It'll be there. <laughs> Julie, thank you so much. We are so thrilled and so excited to have you as part of this event. And uh, let's hope it's just a great success. I'm sure it will be, especially now that we have you as part of it. And uh, again, cannot wait to, you know, to taste the stuffy. So that's really, that's, that's really the only reason that I'm, I'm doing this today. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. I can't wait to meet you. <laughs>